we are now going to talk about the different types of resin filler that you can use to fill your floor. So we have our um, very fine dust that came from this floor here and we have our resin filler. So we're just going to mix those up now and what you're looking for is um, the consistency of um, something like single cream really. Somewhere between single and double cream. If you do that, uh, it'll the resin will get down in between the joints, and it will harden sufficiently um, to give you a good job. If you try and make it too thick, as I say, yes, it will dry quicker, but it will not have gone down deep into the joint. So big joints, don't try and do it in one go. Mix up a couple of lots of resin and uh, do it in a couple of goes. Take your time with it. Um, so that's not too bad, just add a little bit of resin, a bit more resin in there. And as you can see now it's quite runny enough that it will go down into the gaps and do the job for us. So but also you're going to need a um, stainless steel trowel. Very important with any wash based products that you want to use stainless steel. If you use a steel trail, an ordinary steel trail, the chemical reaction between the water in the resin and the tannins in the, in the wood will cause black streaks across your wood. So only ever use stainless steel. If you uh, buy a proper one, we do sell them on our website. Make sure when they come, they'll have straight edge, straight corners here with sharp points. Do recommend rounding those off with a Oil, just because when you're troweling it on it's quite easy sometimes to dig that into the floor and make a mark on your floor so when you get them just round off the corners you'll see it's got a bracing bar across the back that's to give you give the strength to the blade that it isn't too flexible so always buy one with a bracing bar there and you use it this way round with your fingers just touching the bracing bar and um, that will give you the right tension and you're going to be roughly doing it at this kind of angle and pulling it across the floor. Try not to pick the trail up too often because the more often you pick it up and put it down again, the more likelihood you are to get grit and scratches across your floor. Okay, so now we have uh, filled this floor completely, uh, sanded the filler off and smoothed the floor. Uh, to a fairly high degree because it's pine it's um, you need to sand it very smooth in order to get a really good finish completely filled uh, so there we are there's the unfinished uh, unfilled bit that end and the filled bit at this end